Morning. The back to school season is coming up and here to help us transition from our family life back into our busy schedules is Office Awards founder Tara Patterson. Good morning, Tara, and welcome back. Let's get started with help us help the parents transition the family back into another school year. Hard to believe it's here already. I know, isn't it? We were just talking about the winter never ending. <laughs> yes. How summer is. Exactly. <laughs> So basically, obviously, you know, we've talked many, many times about the busy, you know, lives of parents. And of course, I have four. And this year, my oldest will be a senior in high school. So I'm almost done with one of them. Mm -hmm. um, and my youngest is starting kindergarten. So it's definitely an exciting time for me because I'll have some time to myself during the day. <laughs> uh, but obvious, staying organized is super important. We always talk about that because, again, you want to keep everything moving, you know, in a flow. And, you know, you don't want to get over. Overwhelmed. Uh, so, like I say, pretty much every year, uh, the day before, you know, the night before school, I like to prepack lunches. I like to lay out their clothes. Uh, and another really good tip is to make sure that you think about meals for the week. So, in the fall, I love to utilize my crock pot. It's actually one of my favorite kitchen items because I can put dinner in there. And when my son you know, has to go off to football practice, I usually already have something ready so he can either eat before he goes or when he gets home. So, those are just really good things to think about, you know, preparing ahead of time. That's a great idea. So you've got the food going, you're all organized there, you do all of that in advance. All right, when it gets down to getting the kids organized for their homework and study time, any recommendations there? Absolutely, I have a great tip for that. These uh, post-it study collection items are a perfect way for kids to stay organized. Obviously, you know, they have to develop good study skills. We want to provide them with the tools that'll make that easy for them. You know, they have to study, you know, take tests. So these post-it study notes are great for keeping track of, say, you know, something they have to learn for a test. They can be used as flashcards. And just like here, you can stick them in your notebook so that, you know, they won't get lost because that's obviously, um, at least for my boys a challenge you know oftentimes they'll pull out a paper something that was due that was down in the bottom of the backpack <laughs> so that's a good idea and I like the colors actually I mean that's something I might have to incorporate in my own little busy life I like that well yeah they like to have the bold colors you know that you know some kids anyway want to stand out and they want to make sure they have the newest trendiest thing and that's definitely something that will help them stand out girls like pink you know the the neon green is good for the boys <laughs> um, and they also have this great study notebook kit, which actually, Angela, it's cool. It affixes to, you know, it could be a textbook, their binder, um, and it folds out easily to keep everything in one location. So it really does keep them organized for, you know, whatever it is they have to have, you I know, on hand. I love that. I love it. What else you got there? I see it looks like a nice Missoni design over there, the zigzag. What is that? Um, well, basically, you know, again, keeping everything organized and easy to, you know, t you know, take and go. Mm -hmm. uh, make sure that you have, say, little snacks already, water bottles, a cooler, so that when they do have to go out, especially with us down in Virginia, because I'm, you know, in your, I live in your neck of the woods. Yes, you do. Um, you know, it, it gets hot. So we want to make sure that, you know, when they have to go to football practice, and that's a that's a big one for our area to make sure that the kids are hydrated and they have what they need. It, it's hot. They're practicing in 90 degree temperatures with, yeah. you know gear on and everything. So you want to have things ready to grab and go so that, you know, if they have to run out really quickly, um, you have the, the stuff ready for them. That's so that's good stuff. another good thing. Yeah, definitely. And it can be really, I mean, people don't think about it, but the school year can be pretty stressful. So things like this, getting organized, would you say that helps the kids not be so stressed out? I would agree because obviously kids kind of follow their parents lead um, you know it's often said that however the mom is is how the kids will yeah. be sort of you know pick up on that you know whatever the the angst or if they're upset or whatever it tends to convey to the kids so it is definitely important and another good tip too is as we approach getting closer to school time you know about a week or two before it starts you should start putting the kids to bed earlier and getting them up a little earlier so that they really get into that routine because you know in the summer they tend to sleep later they stay up later and it's hard to get back to the getting up at 7 7 30 in the morning so you know start preparing ahead of time I yeah. love it good stuff I always look forward to your tips you get everybody on point for the school year Tara Patterson thank, thank you, you so much look forward to seeing you again 
I appreciate it, Angela. And we'll have more Let's Talk Live coming up right after this.